I think, you know, when you're talking about independent movies and, uh, and blockbuster movies, studio movies, I can't really speak for anybody else, but the way I personally, I'm always going to approach it with intention. I'm going to approach that role with relatability, some kind of empathy or some human quality that needs to be told. I, I want to believe in that character, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. For instance, I just shot Craven, which is a Marvel Sony production, which is really was a personal um, character for me. Um, and that's on a big scale. So I don't think you should, as an actor, I don't think you should differentiate between, oh, this is an indie you know, drama and this is a comedy, so I'm not really gonna do my preparation or my work. I think that's just bad prof professionalism. Tangerine and Lemon are called the twins. Uh, one's black, one's white. So we didn't really want to play into that kind of trope of that humor, you know? We actually wanted to lean more into why would they be called the twins, you know? Uh, so you really wanted to feel like they were brothers or, you know, they're partners in crime, that they have this yin and yang kind of uh, chemistry and this quality. So, you know, Brian and I really worked hard on, on, on creating a bit of a backstory and decided that they were like kids that were in and out of foster home and that that's all they had was one another, right? So it was really important to Brian, Tyree, Henry and I. Um, I had been cast two weeks before Brian. Um, and so I didn't really know who my character was. I didn't really know who Tangerine was until Brian stepped on and stepped into the shoes of Lemon because you couldn't really create one without the other. They needed to be, they're these duo that we really worked on together. And um, I had seen Brian's work up until then. I was a huge fan of him, admirer of his stuff, super versatile, talented actor. And then when I met him, uh, it was instantaneous. We both hit it off, we were just connected and he's a, you know, a, a good friend and a, a friend for life and we've, uh, we've, we've been you know, friends ever since. So it was instantly, there was this magic sort of chemistry and, and, and so that's what we brought to the, to the table. And there was a lot of trust there. So we was able to like improvise. A lot of our stuff is just us ad-libbing and improvising and taking the, the dialogue from the script and, and, and going really bold with it. The physical stuff I find I'm pretty comfortable with. I, I had a, a, a dance background as a kid, so choreography comes kind of naturally and I'm, I'm not too... I, I like physicality in, all, in the roles that I play. I think there's always a character that needs some kind of physicality, whether you walk differently or, you know, you're big or you lose weight or, you know... It, that side of things is kind of something I feel comfortable in. And we had uh, 87 North, one of the best stunt teams that there is, you know. Um, so you're in really good hands, and obviously David Leach with his experience as uh, the stuntman. Um, that side of things I, was, I felt pretty confident about. Um, it's all the other stuff, the character building work, the comedy element. I mean, comedy I think is something that, uh, um, for me, I think is a bit of a challenge. I think, I think you know, really good comedy comes with such smart, witty intellect and quick and like timing, and um, and that's something that uh, I really wanted to try and explore in this movie. Um, and so I found that the most challenging to kind of produce comedy um, within these scenes. Ciao, hello, Lacorno Film Festival. It's Aaron Taylor Johnson, and thank you for having me.